Good morning and uh, welcome to my shop. This is Bruce and uh, what are we today? Saturday morning. <coughs> um, beautiful day and just uh, posted up some nice photos of the sun coming up. Uh, what are we now? Pretty, pretty close to 7.15 there Saturday morning um, and it looks like it's going to be a beautiful day 29C today uh, what we're going to show you here is uh, one of the cuts we're making uh, we're making up some splines uh, with internal and external we're not doing the internal we're only doing the external uh, and this is the one job the first job I've got in the um, you know bring it a bit closer I've already done this spline, now I've turned it around and I'm doing this spline. The reason being that this is a 6 spline and this is an 8 spline. Had I done this one first it would have been difficult to hold it. So I, I did the 6 spline which fits in the 3 jaw no props and now I'm doing the 8 spline. Um, so that's set up in the uh, dividing head and it's a pretty simple task. Uh, we just got to keep rolling around so I'll just turn it around I'll turn the camera around here um, just do some adjustments um, see if we can we might move this uh, Noga holder around this way a bit further see if we can get tighten that up see if we can get in a bit closer there How's that looking? Okay, so what what we've done, we've got here a an involute cutter from a set at module two. All of these we're making a module, um, and this is a module two cutter. Um, because it's quite shallow, it's not like cutting a gear, which you'd normally use these. Uh, but I want the involute finish, so I'm using the number eight, which is 135. Uh, teeth to rack because the because of the shape of the tooth that's the way I want to finish that tooth off um, so what we've done is we've gashed it I've got the markings down um, down below on the table and I as I progress I'm doing it so I've gashed it at 45 degrees all around to full depth which is three millimeter in this case because it's quite thin then we've got to advance um, uh, each time we advance with a, of a few more degrees so we advanced at five degrees and found that we were left with a sliver in the center so we've backed off and we're now advancing three degrees each time so at the minute we're on 48 degrees that's a second cut um, and without further ado we'll show you this one in action uh, by the way I'm actually using this wrong. I mean, this, this has a keyway in it, but I don't have a keyway um, arbor. And the thread here is right-hand thread. So it can spin off because normally you have the, the uh, it's screwing, unscrewing in the same direction as the cut. That's why when it comes under load, it actually tightens, not loosens. And I had this come loose, but it don't, don't damage at all. Um, so, but I'm persevering with it. I'm just cutting light cuts as I go. So what we're doing now, we've actually gashed. We've gashed the center cut uh, here. We gashed the center. Now we're, we're shaving and as we go and we're advancing. So we go around the eight, the eight teeth, shave off three degrees, then, then uh, go up another three degrees. So we'll, and we're working in reverse. There'll probably be quite a bit of noise from the mill, but it is what it is. Also using a bit of my black smelling smoky cutting fluid. Doesn't need much. This is the material itself is 4140. And now we're shaving. Let's see if we can get it a bit closer there. I'll turn that back light off. See if that gives better clarity. Not sure that it does. Well, our 
shavings are very, very tiny. Shaving three degrees at a time. There's no effort at all for the mill, no effort at all for the cutter. It comes back without any noise. That's a sign that everything's going well. So we're going out from 48 degrees to 93 degrees. That's our next stop. Just lining up, lining up the, mark, the, the degree markers with the pointer, no big effort. Does that look better? Not sure. smelly smoky stuff. Let's see if we can get another angle here.
Okay, so there we have it. We're going to continue on with that. I'd just like to put a hands up for uh, Stan Zikowski's um, uh, bash that's coming up in another oh, very short time, five weeks or so. Uh, so if we haven't registered and there's still registration open, I suggest you get along there and um, uh, get onto the uh, Summer Bash uh, website and uh, book your, um, your, your trip over and uh, we'll, anybody arrives will be able to see me there as well. Um, and all the big fellas from, uh, from California will be there of course. Um, Apart from that, everybody have a great weekend. Thank you.